I'll have to admit, I was going to do this pie chart as a 3D pie, but look what happens. When I click on it, all of my options are up here. And when I click on 3D pie, it wasn't all that impressive. I was just like, meh, it's okay. So I'm just going to stick with the 2D. 2D. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to stick with the 2D. However, I do want to label a couple things on here and I want the colors to match. So if it's the brown I'm counting, I don't want it to be red on my pie chart. That's all I'm saying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my pie chart and you'll see that it selects all the little pie pieces all at the same time. And I don't want that. I want it to select just the red. So I've clicked once. It's going to select all of them. If I click one more time, it has just the red. So I'm going to right click on the red or if you're on a Mac and you don't have that right click option, you can press control and cl press click and I'm going to format the data point and it comes up with all these lovely options. I'm actually, this looks like it's a gradient and we will learn a lot more about gradients when we get into Photoshop. However, I already know it's a gradient because, well, I'm just that good. So I'm going to go over to gradients and I've already selected brown at some point so um, let's see actually I have to select brown here first so go to solid click on where it says automatic make sure that it's clicked on brown and now we're gonna go over to the gradient so that we can get kind of a that's why it's already pre-selected just so you know the style I want is linear and now it goes from brown to white and that's not how it looked with the red so I'm gonna to try to mimic what it did with the red so that it's not cray cray um let's see yeah that looks about right it, I, if you want to make it a hundred degrees there that's about how it was there so I am going to the brown's fine it does not look kind of good with that white so I'm gonna click on this little button here and I'm gonna drop down the color menu here and I'm gonna select a lighter brown there we go. Now it's looking looking a little bit more like the pie chart did before. So I'm going to click OK. And now brown matches brown. Green matches green. Whoop, that doesn't look like orange. So we're going to, again, right click, format data point. Let's see, that was um, orange. Uh, orange, yep, yep. Now we're going to go to the gradient, do the linear thing. Hmm. Forget what it looked like, so I'm gonna cancel. Okay, more at the top. Got, got it. Orange, you glad we did that again? <laughs> okay. Again, just change it to a lighter orange. Kind of looks like the brown almost, huh? Oh well. And there we go. Yeah, it kind of looks a lot like the brown. We'll fix that. Uh, the red, so I want you to go through your pie pieces, finish this up, and we'll come back and we're gonna fix this brown and orangey color 